there, Johnny Davis with TexasGuitarLessons.com and the Texas Guitar School. Uh, in today's clip, what we're going to talk about is the first in a group of clips talking about lead guitar playing and the ability to mix modal shapes with pentatonic shapes in key. Our backdrop for this is a song by one of my favorite guitar players named Vivian Campbell. And we're going to look at a song from his first album called Rainbow in the Dark. Let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do here is the same as we've done with other video instructions uh, or other clips. I'm going to use jam tracks, I'll play the backing tracks and the lead, and then we'll talk about some of, uh, some of how the lead is broken down in terms of the key structure. Okay, here we go. Vivian Campbell, Rainbow in the Dark.
Okay, so in terms of the theory on how this song is built and why some of the lead licks were chosen as they were, it's very important that you break down the chord changes underneath because when you do that, you can analyze how the chords are organized. And then you can see how the lead is put over the top and see how the two work together as a team. So what we have here is a song based in the key of A minor, which has no sharps or flats, along with the parallel major C. All right? So that's going to give us a... a, a, a scale shape based on A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A, which gives us this. Again, that's... Okay? No sharps or flats there. Okay? So underneath that, our first chord, and this is for the riff underneath, the rhythm part. We have A5, but you could also play here, okay? F5, G5, then A5. When the chord change moves to F, you're gonna have an open E string with it. Okay, so it gives you. So you start with A, open E, F5, move to G, when you move to G, you're going to take your finger and you're going to bar all of the strings like a big major or minor jazz chord, and you're going to hit the two strings underneath. The way to facilitate that is by barring all of these. So you have that gives you a, 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 a down and an upstroke in terms of the strumming. So put that all together, it gives you this. Now the lick in between the chord changes is also bass and A minor. G, C, B, A, and G. The style to it is an artificial harmonic, which you're going to use your picking hand for. You're going to pluck the string and let it hit the fleshy part of your thumb as you're strumming down, which gives you this. When you hit G, add a little vibrato with it, okay, which gives you this, vibrato. This. Okay, put that all together, it gives you this. Okay, so in terms of breaking this down, what we're going to look at is how this song is built and constructed in terms of its modes. Okay, so this is an advanced guitar instruction, assuming that you have an understanding on how all five pentatonic positions work in key, how to get around your modal shapes in key, and understanding the backing tracks underneath. Okay, so what we have here is A, A root, Mixolydian mode down over G, a, Aeolian Roots, the next lick. Okay, again, sticking with the Aeolian Root. Moving up to here to E, Phrygian here. Again, no sharps or flats in the key of A minor. Okay, so it gives you this. Next part, what we're going to talk about is an idea, a concept called lick substitution. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what I want to talk about here is how this lick is built. What we have is pentatonic position five in behind an A root. Okay, which gives you an interval that starts on G. Okay, keeping in the key of A minor. Again, no sharps or flats. Okay, so it gives you this. That's pentatonic position five, starting with G and behind the A root. Okay, the original lick from Campbell is this. Okay, now that lick is so fast. This this, this whole lead is so fast that there's I can't get my fingers in that in that shape and behind it fast enough to get to the next part. Okay, so what I'm going to do is improvise. I'm going to substitute a lick for that that I can play that gets me into the next shape. Okay, so my my improvising on that lick is this. Okay, 
Okay, good news. Okay, now I improvise that so I can get into the, into the next shape, which is even faster, okay, and then be able to get into the right shape, okay. So now that being said, okay, lick substitution is very, very important because there's going to be some leads that you just, they're so fast or they're so technically complicated that you may not be able to play them, and that's okay. Okay, what that means is you've got to be able to have your theory knowledge so that you can improvise a lick and get on to the next shape in time. Right. Okay, so the next shape here, Aeolian root, an octave up, gives us this. Okay, the next part here uses the blue scale. Okay, so it gives you... Next part here, E Phrygian here gives you. Then we're going to take connect A here with A here. Natural minor intervals all the way down the neck. This gives you a shape like this. No sharps or flats there. Okay, so you Harmonics on the 5th fret, again, Aeolian root back here, and then ending on A. So there you go. That's breaking down how the, lick, how the lead's built, M Mixolydian start, Aeolian root, E Phrygian, pentatonic position 5 here, and then we got an Aeolian root and the blue scale up here for this. So there you have it. We talked about Vivian Campbell's Rainbow in the Dark, and specifically in that we talked about how to use pentatonic shapes and modal shapes together in key in order to create leads. Part two of that that we talked about is making sure that the intervals of the scales that you play in terms of the notes are correct in key as well. And what that will do is allow, to, allow you to make sure that the notes that you play in the scales match the chord progression underneath. I hope you enjoy.